well. We asked the guys if they could help us move some wood. Look at that! Pinoy 225. I have never seen a Pinoy 225. Discarte bread. Adios. Bukid vibes? Oh, exacto. Ah, to drive up. So this is the style. This is the local style. Unreal. Good morning from Dab Oriental. Okay, it was epic. Um, we're going to tell us if we like nano motor because na na kai sakian like a truck for I guess what's it what's it like lizard guy or lizard or lizard kung kung itrap lizard kaya abot dia sa git magal magpap magpas ang pamasa kahoy pero kung motor largo na dahil sa pag discarga file na largo ah sakto. So basically, it's easier just to quickly lift it up, slide it, huck it on the side of the motor, bring it over, bring it down, and that's my own lawas, no? But uh, if it's on the truck, you really got to lift it up, move it on, pull it off. So medyo medyo lisod. So that's why they've chosen to use a motor. It's the the transport of choice for kahoy. We're waiting for kuya. I feel it. Ida si panga. Twenty-five. Twenty-five. Oh, okay, not kuya. I'm kuya. <laughs> I'm always cool, yeah, Brad. <laughs> Getting older. What you just witnessed was the hardest part for them, which is on that side, quickly lifting it up to put on the, uh, the little wooded contraption he has on a motor. That's an old school motorbike. I don't know what a Pinoy 225 is, but it's seriously tough. They just slide the wood up, put it on the sides, drive over, slide it down. It actually helps them out a lot more than trying to move wood with a truck. This is very, very common here, but obviously it's hard work.
Kahoi se kahoi. That's the technique. Kahoi se kahoi. That is why we always give these guys snacks. Boy, do they deserve them. Local style wood transport. Let's have a good day. Woo! We're in it. <laughs> Pensit, Hunga, Magic Spam. <laughs> Hello, Mom Rose. How are you? I'm fine. What do you call the guys who work with the motorbike to take the the wood? Badass. Badass. <laughs> Those guys are badass. Excuse our language, but it's true. Legends. As is your sabao. Mama Rose, your sabao, it's very badass. With, yeah, with your alo uh, kamuti taps. You stole it from us. You stole, stole from us again. again. Oh my god. <laughs> I did, you did. If you haven't read the story about Nesta's, go to my Facebook page. It's a chili sauce and chili pepper company in Davao. Really beautiful story. Very, very good. By the way, I haven't learned my lesson. I'm using blazing hot. He's using medium. He's learned his lesson. <laughs> Woo! You just want the, again fire in your belly, huh? Mm. I, I love didn't it. sleep last night, I think because I ate this. Enjoy that. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> This is Lanzoni's. Five years from now, it's gonna be delicious. And behind me, yeah. This one is cacao, tablia, pohon, Lanzoni's, and tablia. Whew, okay, now that I'm all dirty. <laughs> We're gonna go chill for a bit, and tonight we paddle the river. Okay, so I was in the back of the truck uh, holding my board. We're just gonna go for a paddle, and unfortunately, uh, some sort of wind came up and blew the board and blew me out of the back of the truck and um, I'm in a lot of pain now and my I think my shoulder is either broken or dislocated and I don't know what we're gonna do now what should I do we're just gonna go to the hospital and sort this out but that's life uh, of course I do things that involve risks and uh, I probably could have made a better decision than holding the board in the back but it happens so 
so I'm gonna do. I don't know then the next update will be, but I gotta go to the hospital. I'm in a lot of pain. It's all good. Sorry, it just sucks. My shoulder really hurts. Oh yeah, okay. So basically, thank God that Catil is a hospital and really good hospital staff because I'm basically in a whole bunch of pain right now, but it's okay. I probably deserve to be in it. And we're gonna get an x-ray on what could be my dislocated or broken shoulder. Oh. But Ate here is cleaning me up. What's your name? Lovely. Lovely? That's a very lovely name. Her name is Lovely. Now... Oh. Oh. It's so lovely. The feeling, the feeling, the feeling is so lovely. Uh, the moral of the story, guys, I actually had major facial surgery eight years ago. I had a really bad sporting accident. Um, oh, is it the alcohol? Oh, what's that? Agua. Agua, it's water? Oh, oh man, that really stings. Oh, that does not feel good. Oh, mama. Oh, man, that really hurts bad. Oh. Um, by the way, here's the honest truth, okay? Again, you do risky things sometimes in your life, right? Um, but you, you know, you try and do them in an educated way. And I was completely comfortable doing what we were doing, but, you know, I, I, oh, man. But it just, you know, this happened. And that's life. And I'm lucky it, it wasn't worse, so I just have to embrace the fact that my shoulder is completely mangled. But it, it's very lovely in, in the end. Everything will be lovely. In, everything will be lovely in, in the end. All right. So my idol is here. He's a local dude who drives the ambulance. We're gonna ride that ambulance to Tago. Go over there, Karan. Show him the ambulance. Nice. <laughs> Looks all right. This guy's the idol. Oh, that's my idol. That guy. Looks all right. That, that guy. That guy is a legend. I think. I think you'll be all right in there. I think I'll be all right. He's a hundred percent record. Okay, we're going. We're going to Tagum. Um, my X-ray is already there. My shoulder has been mangled. Uh, no, it's really mangled. But. Uh, <laughs> But we have an orthopedic surgeon waiting, so yeah, hopefully, I'd say the pain right now is an 8 out of 10, it's not very nice at all. But um, yeah, see you when we get to Tagum, and thank you for being a part of this new journey in becoming Filipino, which is more becoming Saki. <laughs> so welcome to becoming Saki. This is life, it happens. The coming ngol bread. What's that? Ngol ngol, the pain inside is called ngol ngol. Momo? Ngol ngol. No ngol. Do you think we could just hire like a walk walk who can just like do. <laughs> is there any sort of like superstitious witch we can just bring in who will fix this? Or... Huh? Like a superstitious no? No. no. Okay. <laughs> Spin around here. Yeah. Okay, it's the next morning. I'm in a private hospital in Tagum. I had a pretty rough night, but all is good. I'm gonna get some x-rays this morning. Something is definitely not good with my shoulder. Could be a dislocation, could be a break. And hopefully this afternoon I'll see an orthopedic and I'll figure out the next plan. I have an IV. And yeah, that's that. See you at the x-ray. <laughs> it's so weird vlogging in a hospital. Why am I doing this? Uh, yeah, anyways. Okay. Bye-bye. <laughs>